Hello everybody, this is Bardridge and this is Save the Rules to Save Yourself. And in this video we will start creating a rule saving or layout saving thing here that will, um, you know, we have our D rules file that defines the layout for the currently open directory. Uh, the default rule is list sort by name ascending, which applies to most of the uh, directories here. But let's say I wanted to add one here for the vid directory. Then I have to manually add that like vid and then let's say, yeah, item time, icon time date descending. And now that layout is automatically applied here, always to the vid directory. Great. But uh, th this gets a bit tedious, you have to always uh, decipher the layout into this weird rule string every time and uh, so on. Um, and I thought let's create a, a little custom action that will uh, let us save the current layout that we have here, automatically add it to this list and, and, and stuff. So let's start by adding a custom action here in Thunar, configure custom actions, we add a new one. Uh, we call it save layout. The command, let's use the action fm again, and as the argument to action fm, we pass save layout. No startup notification, all files and directories close. Then we go to action fm here. Mm. I think I would like to create a variable here first that's called action is equal to dollar one. Then we change this to action. So this will be the first, the argument, you know. And now the argument is save layout. So we add that here to the case clause. Save layout. Whoops. Save layout. And and let's just do a notify send here to see that everything is working. It's working. Uh, another thing we should do right away is to, because this update FM part here, that only applies to when we update the layout here. We don't want to do that now when we save the layout, then we just want, want to manipul manipulate this file. And I think we can refactor this script, but let's not do that in this video, but maybe make a, the, toggle rule function and, and stuff here now when I think about it but whatever uh, if action is equal or is not equal to save layout update fm but if it, if it is save layout then it doesn't do this thing here so we save there and then we can test our new custom action here save layout it's working great. Okay, um, so to save the layout, we need two things. We need the directory, the current open directory, and the actual layout, which is the rule, you know. And the rule, we already have that here stored in this variable, old rule here. So uh, we need oops, directory and we have old group there test that save layout we need deal old rule is itd here in this directory and if we would enter a different directory save layout LMA. So, so we always have the, the current layout in, in that variable old rule. The directory, however, uh, that is a bit different because I don't know if you remembered, but in this uh, custom actions, we can add uh, these, these things, you know, past the, the currently selected file or uh, the directory containing the file that is passed in percentage %f. So if we test this with percentage %f here, or percentage %d, we should pass the, the, the directory containing the file. We will see that this has some side effects that we don't want. So we, we could just do this arg is equal to $2. So this will be uh, the directory if we pass that. And then we can test here if arg will work here. 
save layout. Now it prints homebud and the rule, and that is that is what we want, you know. That is the current uh, directory and the rule. Uh, but the thing is, if we don't have a, a file selected, then it will then percentage f will be the current directory, and percentage d will be the directory containing current directory, and th this is not uh, what we want. We always want the visible uh, visible directory here. Uh, but we can get that since we are already doing this i3 get here. We could just add uh, the title or the title format here and get the directory. But now I would, would like to take some time here to explain some, some cool things we can do with indexed arrays. So let's do this. Uh, here it is i3 get. Search for a window with a class name Thunar D. Print. Uh, window ID and instance name. That's the same thing we have here, you know. It prints the window ID and the instance name. You can use i3get to print the title format of a window. So that's O. And then it prints, yeah, just a tilde here because that is the title format. If we would change uh, to a different directory here, it would print that title format instead. And that is, this is exactly what we want, the, just the, the path here. But the problem is we cannot really uh, rely on this either because we update the title format ourselves, uh, kind of from the Thunar script. You know, it always updates the title format of, of Thunar windows. But if uh, for some reason the, the Python script is not running or something else goes wrong, then we cannot rely on this title format. Instead, the best thing here is to use the good old title, you know which also always contains the path. Uh, but then we get a, a different uh, problem we have to solve here, because as, as it is now, we store the output of i3get in an array here. Let's go to my test folder in TMP TST. And here I have a really uh, just created this directory. So we had something with lots of spaces and special characters inside of it. So, so this is the uh, whole directory name, you know. If we would store this in in an array, so let's do test array is equal to parenthesis output of this stuff here, uh, and then we could uh, yeah let's do a, a loop here for i is equal to zero i is less than the number of elements in test array uh, this or i'm stupid we, we don't have to do an for loop here it would, would have been or an arithmetic loop but whatever now i have already written it so echo uh, element i is uh, test array bracket i done. And then I can see we should use. Oops. There. I think this will work. Yes, element zero is uh, ID here. Element two is the instance name. Element uh, two or the third element is uh, this part and you see it, it since the the directory contains spaces it will put each each of them into a separate element here and this is uh, we can't have this in, in case we have spaces in the in the directory name and stuff stuff so um, you know um, a string let, let's create a string string var is equal to Hello. Uh, a string is basically also an array containing uh, characters. So you, you remember echo string var colon, let's do two colon three. This will print a uh, string var here, but starting at the third index uh, of the string. So r and then print the three string long. R I N should be the output here. No, uh, <laughs> hello, uh, low, low, of course. 
course, it frees the, the content of the string. But a, uh, a string, as I said, could, could be seen as an array of characters. And you can actually use this uh, substring uh, thing here on arrays also. So we could do um, test array. And then we have to do this bracket at. And then we can do colon uh, 2 that will start with this uh, this uh, 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 element and then we can do it uh, two two elements long or oh, like this and there now you, you see now it, it started at the third index and print that and one more so total two if we want to print every uh, element after the second one we could do this and here we have the full title now and this is what we will use here uh, to store the title and with that also get the path. So we just add t here and then we can create a new variable uh, that we call title that contains uh, i3got at colon 2. Yeah, just colon 2. Uh, but this of course will also include this file manager part here which we don't need as you remember so let's do uh, one more variable called path is equal to title trim the string from the end of it space dash star clonk and now if we use path here instead and try this save layout there now it echoes we got the directory we got the current rule and this is what we need to um, to update the, the deed rule list. But I think we take that in the next video, what we do with this, uh, because we will modify the parse rule script here and do, uh, so, so that also can update the file in case we pass a rule and stuff, it, it, it will be good times, you know. And trying to reuse as much code as possible since we in this parse rule we also make sure that the file exists and create a, a default file and stuff so, so we don't need to do this every time we, we have to operate on the deed rule file. Okay, uh, but as I said we take it in the next video. Have a great day everybody. Bye.